Hey guys and welcome back to episode number 9 of the Rebuilding Brighton series where we're in the Premier League and I'm super excited to be here. If you guys are excited as well, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. The transfer window has slammed shut and we have finished our pre-season. I'll show you how we did. Overall pretty well done. No really big disappointing results. Obviously that Brentford game does stand out as a bit of a dull affair. But overall, you can't really complain. A lot of good wins, and um, I think we're ready to take on Southampton in our first game of the season. But first, let's not forget about all of the signings that we've made. First of all, we're going to take a look at the sales. McAllister has gone for $27 million. He was just causing too many problems. He didn't want to be here. He uh, couldn't get work permits, so I decided to sell him. And for $27 million, I've gone an absolute steal for him. Um, I did really well to get that amount of money, and I'm super happy to see the back of him. Neil Mopay, who didn't end up doing as well as we thought he would at our club, has gone for $19.5 million, which I think is a really good deal. Uh, Solly March has gone for $17.25, a player that never really came out of his shell for us. If you look at the stats, he played a lot. 40 games last season and 29 the season before that, scoring 10 goals and 8 assists with 2 player of the match awards. He's an alright player, but I don't know if he's the standard that we want going into the Premier League season. Kier has gone to Schalke. Unfortunately for us, he just didn't work out. I really wanted him to, but we still made a big profit on him. We bought him for $4 million and sold him for 13 and I, I think that's definitely a positive to take away. A great player, but just wanted too much money and caused too many problems right now for us. Ramos, our captain, has gone to Newcastle for $12 million. A really good deal, and you'll know why well we've done that deal in a few minutes. Barlo Torre has gone, another one that we just made a bit of a profit on, $9 million to Sheffield. And uh, that's a pretty good sale, but Sheffield has still gotten a pretty good bargain for us. But a nice wee profit for us there. Montoya has gone to West Ham, $7.75 million. Again, another good profit for us, and I'm very happy to see him out of our club. Lemos has gone for 7.5, and it could go up to 9 million. Again, a brilliant profit. That's kind of the reoccurring theme of what I'm talking about here. Baluta, one of our younger players, has gone, uh, and uh, he didn't look like he was going to ever reach the heights that we needed him to, so I thought better to sell him now than later. Moroni, again, another player we made a bit of a profit on, got him for nothing, sold him for six million. I don't know if he ever made an appearance for us, but that is what we like to see. Ryerson, 5.25 million to Derby. We just don't need him anymore, and you'll see because of the signings that we've made why we don't need him anymore. Coming in for three million and going out for 5.25, a nice wee profit there. Finally, a couple of youngsters that have gone out, Tyler Webb being the main one, 1 1.2 million, and I don't know why they wanted to pay that much for him. The player's going out on loan. Connolly has gone out on loan. We actually got a bid for him of 20 million from Everton, and I did say yes, but then their transfer negotiations broke down, so we have to keep him at the club for another season. I thought loaning him out was the right move to make. And uh, he should do pretty well at Swansea. Frimpong was really unhappy because I wasn't giving him starting uh, games. And right now, because of the signs that we've made, he's certainly not going to be a starter for us. So I'm happy to see him go out on loan and hopefully he can do well there. Basuma has gone out to the La Liga for a loan and I hope he can do well. Roberts has gone out on loan to Derby. Webster to Leicester, and you guys can check out the other ones if you really want to take a look at them. Alzate is probably the only other one that is interesting. Gone to West Brom, who are also in the Premier League with us just on a season-long loan. 133 million brought in and 96 million spent. That is what we're going to get into now. The transfers brought in what you all came here for, and let's jump straight into it. Eight Nori has come in from Ghent. And he is coming for 23 million. He is looking like a very tidy left back. I didn't really need a left back to be completely honest. But he came up and I just felt like he's going to be an amazing player in the long run for us. So I'm very happy to bring him into the club. Onana will be our goalkeeper for years and years to come. Four star current ability. And he is going to be amazing. Only 25 years of age. Got him in for 23 million. Both of them broke our transfer record. 
So we're very happy to introduce them to the first team. Sosa is a cam who has come in from FC Porto, just a bit of a replacement for McAllister. If we do want to play with a more attacking formation, he can certainly do the job. And they're great stats, three-star current ability, four-and-a-half-star potential ability, and I'm happy to involve him in the club. Ian Nacho has come in for 11.25, and I'm very happy to see him being our backup striker. I know he can do well for us. He's His star rating, when I did scout him, was a lot better than two and a half. They told me he's probably around about a three and a half to four star potential player, but, you know, sometimes that's not the way the cookie crumbles, and I know, despite the, that star rating, his stats will be enough to be a really good reserve striker for us. We have brought in a central defensive midfielder by the name of Deuce, and he looks very solid for us. He will just be a bit of a bench player, and I will try and train him so that he can actually play in that midfield role. But he's a bit of a backup for Cataldi this season. Sanchez, what an absolute steal he was right back from the Mexican League, I believe. And he comes in as our starting right back for the season. Four-star current ability. A lot of clubs were sniffing around for him and we managed to get in quickly and get that 7.75 million bid in and done and uh, he's going to be a player that is going to start for us for many years to come. William has come in from Chelsea, four star current ability and he's going to be amazing down that right side. A bit of experience, knows what he's doing in the Premier League as we all know and uh, hopefully he can score some absolute bangers for our side. Asamo is a bit of a rotation player left back, left wing back, and left mid, he can do it all, and I can't wait to see if he can have any impact this year. Uh, Burnich, who has come in as a bit of a rotation option, he's gone out on loan, he's got a little bit of potential, and maybe he can turn into a really good player, he's more just thought of as a player that we can buy on a buy on a free and sell for a bit of a profit in the future. And Vallejo, you guys already know all about him. Three and a half current ability and four star potential ability. He is going to be a great partner with Eric Bay in this season and I can't wait to get it all started. I completely skipped over Boga, sorry guys. He is coming for 8.25 million and he looks like a really good winger option for us and I can't wait to get him involved in the team as well. Really nice stats and a little bit of potential to go with him as well. We are lining up with this squad right now. We're going to play with White for the first game because Vallejo is picked up a little bit of a knock. But that is such a great improvement from last year. Great bench and a really amazing reserves. With a couple of players I still want to get out on loan and sold. But right now, that is a very good side with a lot of depth. And uh, we've got a bit of a headache on that left wing, right wing sort of position. William Gray, Trossard and Boga all have a bit of a contention for starting. But right now, that is where we're going to set it up with. And I can't wait to get into the first match of the season, which will be against Southampton. I'll be with you guys again when it's ready to go. Before the first game of the season, I thought we should take a look at the season preview. We're expected to finish 13th, which is above both Southampton and West Brom, who have been promoted with us. And I think that that's pretty fair. I want to finish mid-table around that sort of region. And uh, this is the side that we're going to use to jump into that first match of the season. Pretty similar team to last year. You guys will recognise a lot of the names. This is the bench that we're going with. Ian Nacho and uh, Duce are coming in as the new signings. And Vallejo, sorry. And uh, a lot of new signings on the starting eleven. Let's jump straight into this match against Southampton. Southampton only making two changes to their squad. I don't know if that's enough to keep them up in the Premier League. But we'll, I reckon they have a good team already and uh, I'm sure they'll do pretty well with that squad nonetheless. And uh, we jump into the first game of the season. Very happy to be back in the Premier League. It feels right. It feels like a bit of justice after I took us down with my terrible management in the first season only to bring us back up in the second year. Gray running forward for the first chance of the season and Camposano manages to get a shot away but it goes just wide and that is good early signs from the boys. That is what we want to see. Our midfield trio still staying strong. Hopefully they can do just as well as they did last year because they were the reason that we scored so many goals, got so many assists and basically got the champions, uh, finished as champion, sorry. Danny Ings comes at us and hits the post. There's a very close chance and we're lucky to get away with one there. Five shots to their one. It would be very disappointing if they had scored that 
goal a little bit against the run of play. But right now we are kind of slowing down a little bit. Haven't had any chances for a while. But now we have one as I'm talking about it. Gray picks up the ball and he's running up the pitch. Take a shot and he gets it just in a place where Gunn is able to save it. And it's a good palm away. But we do have a corner. Kusins is really good from these kind of areas. And it's a good hit by Mayoral. But he can't quite get it into the back of the net. Mayoral will probably have a good game against Southampton because he's already played against them and I hope that he'll be able to bang in a few goals. I don't know how well he'll do overall this time in this league because uh, the Premier League is a very different ballpark to the Championship. Although he got top goal scorer, he's going to have to adapt quickly if he wants to keep being our starting striker. We have another chance and it hits the post. Cousins is putting in some amazing balls for us right now but we just can't finish our dinner. A corner for us, Cousins looks to put the ball in, finds Gray, well not intentionally, and Gray takes a hit and he scored the first goal of our Premier League campaign for the season. Great snapshot, turns around and uh, gets it from a poor cleared corner from Southampton. Ings plays it straight back to Gray and a bit of a snapshot that goes into the bottom corner. The goalkeeper doesn't seem to react at all to it. That goal puts us up in ninth position, which is a good position to be in after the first match of the season. But now, Willian is trying to close down the Southampton players, but they still have the ball. And they hit the post again, the second time they hit the post in this game. And we really need to be careful. 12 shots to their 3, doesn't play that we're all over them. But Southampton can click just like that and turn on us and get a goal to get straight back into the game, make it 1-0, and then we'd probably be panicking, as we all know. I love a good panic once we go 1-0. And we get a good challenge there to try and break down the attack, but Redmond is charging forward. Very dangerous player, but that shot is not very dangerous, and if he keeps shooting like that for the rest of the game, we'll be very happy about that. Half time, and I'll tell the boys that I'm happy with how they played. I'm pleased with how they're going. Don't want to knock them down too early in the game, you know, Build them up early in the season, and if they start playing poorly, then we'll let them know. Mayoral running up the side of the flank, and he takes a shot, and it goes just wide. Good ball from Cousins, and a good run by Mayoral. Hopefully, he can find the back of the net by the end of the game, because it would be great for him to start off the season with a goal. Gray gets the ball, and he's running up. He passes a few players very well, and he takes a really long shot, and he manages to get it in the back of the net. His second goal of the game, and that's probably going to be our goal of the season. What a run. Skips past a few players. Nori with the throw-in, and he gets an assist from it. Skips past one there, takes a few touches, and runs around, and he keeps going. He keeps going, shoots from where you should not be shooting. I thought that was one of the stupidest shots I've ever seen, and it manages to go right in the top corner. And what a way to introduce himself back into the Premier League. I'm going to actually make a change, though. Willie Ann's going to be the man to come off. And Trossard is going to move out to where Gray is. Gray will go onto the right flank, which we know he can play very well, and try to mix it up. Willian doesn't have the best debut ever, uh, but when he's been overshadowed by Damari Gray, having a great game like he is right now, it's kind of hard to put any of the attention on yourself. We're going to bring Camposano off as well. Bring on Billingham and give him a bit of a chance. He's moved down to a two and a half star rating, so I hope that he can build it up over time. I probably should have put him out on loan because we do have a lot of contention for that central midfield roles, and I don't know if he's quite ready to be starting for a Premier League side just yet. We clear it off the line and Southampton almost get another goal, not another goal, uh, another goal opportunity, hit the post twice, one clearance off the line. They will be feeling a little bit hard done by to not be a goal to the good, but uh, it's not what we want to see, and uh, six shots really doesn't tell the whole story, but two goals to the good in this match is what we should be focusing on. We'll bring Bernardo on for Nori and uh, just run the clock down and see if we can get the first win of the season. What a way to start the season it would be. Moving up into fifth place, obviously, first game of the season win doesn't really mean too much, but it is always nice to be up in that sort of position, even in the early days. Four minutes of added time. Can we ride it out? I'm sure we can. We might even get one more go. Kusint puts a ball in. White has it. Plays it back out to Kusint, who puts a ball in. Mayoral's in the right area, but I think he's well offside there. Take a look at the replay, but I have no doubt in my mind that he was miles off there. 
would have been great for him to get a goal and for Kusins to get an assist. Yes, if you take a look at the line, miles off there, that's exactly what we would have wanted. Some confidence from Mayoral and some confidence for Kusins, but it's not to be. And uh, it doesn't matter either way. We finished the game 2-0 at home against Southampton, and this is exactly what we want. I'll tell the boys how pleased I am with that performance. And uh, that's going to end the first episode of the series. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll meet you guys back in a couple of games. Hopefully we can continue the good start that we've completed in this Premier League season. Southampton, nil. Brighton, 2.